military intervention in some of these things is an aberration. I don't think uh, we should encourage the military at all. You are actually quoted as saying uh, a, a while back that only a stupid soldier now would attempt a coup. Absolutely. But j just before you made that comment, the soldiers in Mali did. Maybe they are stupid. <laughs> or perhaps maybe you were referring to the Nigerian soldiers. No, 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 no. But I mean it. Uh, uh, from, say, about 1989 to now, things have changed. Um, the whole world has embraced democracy, economic reform, open market, and so on and so forth. And uh, there is no place for military in those things that are being accepted now. It is best done by politicians and the civilians. So the world is becoming closer together. I said stupid because the moment you take over a government, you find if you are in West African sub-region, ECOWAS will come after you. African Union will come after you. European Union will come after you. The superpowers will come after you. And everything that will help to you want to do in terms of development, politically or otherwise, they are not going to accept that. And you belong to a committee of nations. And you cannot work on your own. You have to. So if the whole world, the United Nations, said no, we have to run a democratic government, anybody who tries to go off the tangent, there is the tendency to sanction him, either at the United Nations level, at ECOWAS level, at AU level, just like you mentioned Mali. Maybe if there was no intervention, only God knows how long they are going to remain there as uh, uh, in government.